In this video, we're going to go over how to get user input from a JavaScript application. I have to be completely honest with you, once you actually get into uh, using libraries and things like jQuery or AngularJS or BackboneJS, uh, you're not going to use uh, things like uh, getting a user input based off of a prompt box just because you'll, there are so many built-in features into those libraries that you just aren't going to do it. You'll usually use form elements or things like that. However, for the sake of learning how to program JavaScript, it is very helpful for showing how you can take user input and then make decisions based off of that. So in this video, we're going to go over how to get the input, and then in the next one, we're going to start getting into how to uh, pull in that input into variables and then use it to make decisions that make your programs run. So uh, to start off, we're going to actually go to a site called jsfiddle.net and a lot of times you'll hear people just call it jfiddle or something like that. Uh, this is something I use a lot uh, when I develop JavaScript applications. If you play around with it at all, you'll see that you can do things like actually pulling in libraries directly into the program. So you can pull in Angular or Underscore or Ember or you know a lot of these very, very popular uh, applications or I'm sorry, libraries, and pull them in so it loads so you can run those type of programs. And there are a lot of other things uh, you can uh, choose. We're going to do on load, and for this we're going to do no library. Uh, if you go through some of, the, uh, some of the other tutorials that talk about using jQuery, using Angular, and some of the other libraries, you'll see we're going to use uh, JS Fiddle for, to play around with that quite a bit. So I wanted to introduce it to you here. Uh, so to, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start to get that user input. And so the way we're going to do it is we're going to create a variable and give that variable a name. And so we're going to go just with name and hit equals. And instead of assigning it to a name, what we're going to do is type in prompt, start parentheses, and then say, what is your name? And quotation marks and parentheses, and then uh, give it a, um, a end a line character. And then we're going to go down a few, and because we want to see what actually this is going to look like and see what we typed in, I'm going to do alert, and then we're going to type name variable into there. So if you want to think about how this is going to work visually, we're going the prompt box. Is going to come up and prompt is a special word in JavaScript so prompt is a function so I didn't just come up with that or make it up or it's not something arbitrary uh, prompt is what you need to type and then you can preload uh, what it is that you want to say in the prompt box and then whatever gets typed in gets stored in this variable so for this little mini program you're going to have the prompt box fill this variable and then it's going to come down and then we're going to use the alert function to show us what we typed in. So to run this in JS Fiddle, I'm just going to come up, click run, and you can see this pop, uh, this prompt box pops up and it says, what is your name? I'm going to say Jordan Hudgens, hit OK, and then you can see the page printed out right into the alert box, Jordan Hudgens. Uh, the other thing that you could do uh, that we've done in the past, you can put the uh, console log there or something like that, and then you would have to open up the uh, the JavaScript console, and then you could see it printed out there. I'm doing the alert just so we don't have to open up the console window um, this time. So uh, the next thing we're going to show is how to preload content in there. So say you wanted to actually fill in something um, like a default value or something like that, uh, you can put another argument in here. And arguments, we're going to get into what arguments uh, are and how you put use arguments in uh, in these type of things. Um, and But we'll get into that more for right now, just kind of duplicate what I'm doing and you'll understand it later. Uh, so if we want to preload something, say we wanted to preload 
put your name here. We could do it like that. And then when we hit run, now you can see put your name here automatically got filled in and then we can you know replace it with our name and there we go we have Jordan uh, that's not usually something you're gonna do I just wanted to show you that you could preload that um, in there uh, and and use it that way now there is one problem with our code and that's that we hard coded what is your name into the prompt variable you this is something you're never going to want to do you're never going to want to uh, uh, hard code or put a uh, this what this is really called is a string literal you're never going to want to put a string literal into your function it's just considered a bad practice so the way that you're actually going to want to do a program like this you're going to go var greeting and then we're going to take this string and we're going to assign it to that variable and then here we're not going to use this default text at all and now we're going to type in greeting and so now you can see this looks a lot cleaner and now when we want to change the uh, name or we want to change the greeting we can come up to the greeting variable and replace it and then uh, it will change in here so say we wanted to change this to what's your last name hit run and you can see what's your last name is now what comes up there and type in Hudgens and Hudgens pops up right there and that's working perfectly so this video you're able to see exactly how to prompt a user for input in the next one we're going to go into how to take that information and then use that to make decisions in your program